Hello friends, this is third part of how to make CRUD REST API in CodeIgniter, and in this part we will discuss how to remove or delete data from MYSQL table, by using API in CodeIgniter. In previous part, we have already seen how to update or edit MYSQL table data in CodeIgniter by using API. For this, we have go to API view file, and here we have write dollar document selector, with on method, and under this we have write, click event, with button id delete, so when we have click on delete button, then it will execute this block of code. Under this, we have write user id variable is equal to, dollar this with attribute method and under this we have write id it will fetch id attribute value and store under user id variable after this we have write if statement and under condition we have write confirm statement with message like are you sure you want to delete this this message will be pop with OK and cancel button. If user click on OK button, then it will execute if block of code. After this, we have start write Ajax request. Under this, first we have write URL option set to base URL function with test API slash action. It will send request to action method, test API class. In second option, we have write method, here we can define, which form data submission method, we have to use for send data to server, so here we have use post method. In third option, we have write data, and in this option we can define which data, we want send to server, so here we have send value of user id variable, and data action variable, with value delete. In fourth option, we have write data type, and here we have write json, so it will receive data from server in json format. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called, if Ajax request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this, function we have write, if statement and under condition we have write data dot success, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id success message, with html method, and under this we have write data deleted message, this message will be display on web page, after deleting of data. After this, we want to display remaining data on web page, so we have called fetch data function, this function will display latest data on web page. Now we have go to test API controller class action method, and here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar data action variable value is equal to delete. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar API URL variable is equal to localhost slash tutorial slash codeigniter slash API slash delete. This API URL for delete data from MYSQL table. Below this, we have write dollar form data variable is equal to array. In this array key, we have write ID, 
and in value we have write, user ID variable, which has been received from Ajax request, here we have store data into this dollar form data variable in array format. Now we have write, dollar client variable is equal to, curl init function, and under this we have write dollar API URL variable, it will init curl resource. Below this, we have write curl set option function, with three argument like, dollar client variable, curl option post, set to true, it will enable HTTP post request used by HTML forms. After this, we have write curl set option function with three argument like, dollar client variable, curl option post fields, and third argument we have write dollar form data variable, it will convert form data into JSON string. Below this, we have again write, curl set option function, with three argument like, dollar client variable, curl option return transfer set to true, it will set the return value of curl execution in JSON format. Now we have write dollar response variable is equal to, curl execute function, and under this we have write dollar client variable, it will execute curl request, and receive data from API URL and store data in dollar response variable. Lastly, we want to close curl request, so here we have write curl close method, and under this, we have write dollar client variable, it will close curl resource. Now we want to send data to Ajax request, for this here we have write, echo statement with dollar response variable, it will send data to Ajax request. Now we have go to API controller, and here we have make delete method, this method will receive the request for delete data from MYSQL table. Under this method, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write, dollar this with input object with post method, and under this we have write id, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write, dollar this with api model object, with delete single user function, and under this we have write id variable, this method will delete data from MYSQL table based on value of ID variable. Now we have go to API model class, and here we have make delete single user function, with dollar user ID variable as argument. Under this, we have write dollar this, with database object with where method, and under this we have write id table column name, and dollar user id variable, it will add where clause in delete query. Below this, we have write dollar this, with database object with delete method, and under this we have write sample table name, it will make delete query and execute it and it will delete data from MYSQL table, based on value of dollar user ID variable. Now we have go to API class delete method, and here we have write dollar array variable is equal to array, with key success, and value set to true.
Now we want to send response in JSON format, so here we have write echo statement with JSON encode function, and under this we have write dollar array variable, it will convert data into JSON string, which has been sent as response, now we have check output in browser. Friends, here first we have refresh web page, and after this on web page, we can see sample table data with edit and delete button, now we have click on delete button. After click on delete button, on web page we can see pop up with ok and cancel button, first we have click on cancel button, then no action has been performed, now again we have click on delete button. Now again on web page we can pop up message with OK and cancel button. Now we have click on OK button. After click on OK button, we can see data has been removed and on web page we can see success message. So, this way we can delete or remove data by using API in CodeIgniter. So here we have make crud rest API in CodeIgniter for insert update delete and fetch all data from MYSQL database. So here this CodeIgniter tutorial series completed. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box. Or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.